work this out. Get a work this Hello, I'm Professor McGonagall, and why is it when something happens, it is always you three? You're watching a reader's world. I don't even know if that quote is from the book. I just know it's in the movie, so I'm just gonna take that into consideration. So 2016 is coming to a close, and I'm kind of happy because a lot of stuff happened in 2016 that I'm not happy about. I think we all know my top one. 2017. Not only are we gonna have amazing movies and TV shows coming to us, but we'll also have books coming out. This is my list of my most anticipated books of 2017. There is no order for these anticipated book releases because I am psyched for each one. So the first book on my most anticipated book releases is a third book in a trilogy and that is Lois Lane Triple Threat by Gwen DeBond. I just noticed that the titles have similarities with the numbers of the books. Like the second one is called Double Down and the third one's called Triple Threat. If you don't know what this series is about, I don't know where you've been because I've been raving about this series. This series is so underhyped. Basically, this series follows Lois Lane. It's it's that obvious. It's just her and her teen year hanging out with friends, solving some stories and mysteries, and also having a secret relationship with her internet friend, Smallville guy, Clark Kent, that adorable little boy. I am so excited for this book. I met Gwenda Bond like recently during Y'all Fest, and I asked if this was the last book. She said, it wraps up everything nicely, so probably uh, I didn't cry. <laughs> I'm really sad that the series is ending, but I hope that there's an epilogue where Clark and Lois meet as adults. I can't wait for this final book because the series has gone so well and I don't want it to be like the Divergent series where it ends badly. I want it to be high up in the air like Superman. Ha <laughs> ha, you see what I did there? This book I have here is um, of course on my list because of Hello, it's written by one of my favorite authors. And that is Apollo, The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. Now, I read Trials of Apollo right when it came out because it was one of my most anticipated book releases of this year and it blew it out of the water. I'm one of those people who did love it. There's not a lot of people out there that did. Because Heroes Olympus is very different from Percy Jackson and I feel Trials of Apollo brought us back to Percy Jackson and the Olympian and I really liked that. I can't wait for the sequel. I totally forgot what happened to the book. I'll probably have to watch a review of it but I can't wait for it because we'll get to see new the characters that came back and just all this <sighs> nostalgia. The next book on my list is actually a standalone. This is not a part of the series. And that is Geekerella by... Wait for it. Ashley pa Poston? Now, I found this book through a Goodreads giveaway. I didn't win the Goodreads giveaway, but I heard the plot and I was like, I like this. Now, this book follows a girl who's a geek. <laughs> No one. Yes, there's a Comic Con kind of thing, and she dresses up in cosplay, and she meets one of the actors of her favorite TV show, I believe, or it's a movie, and they start falling in love, but it's Cinderella, so she kind of like goes away, and he doesn't know who she is. I am a sucker for Cinderella stories. You know all those like live action Disney movies? Like, there's four of them. I have two of them on DVR because they're so, so cheesy. And you just like wish your life was like that and it's great. Like you want to be like Harley Duff, you want to be like Selena Gomez, and you want to be like Lucy Hale, you want to be like Sophie Carlson finding your Prince Charming, but we all know that won't happen for me. So I'm super excited to read this book and not only because it's Cinderella but also because the nerd culture and the geek thing and I really like how they're incorporating that into a Cinderella story. The next book on my list is Because You Love to Hate Me by many, many authors and booktubers. Not only am I excited for this book because booktubers are writing it, but once they're tweeting out their authors and also what their plot is, I felt that was really interesting and I think this is a really cool idea. Okay, so the next book I have here is Elsa. No, not Elsa. Liza and Her Monsters by Francesa Zappa. I said that wrong so much. Another book that I found through a Goodreads giveaway, even though I did not win again, I'm terrible with winning stuff. What I can get from this summary is about a girl who's really shy but on the internet she's known for this webcomic 
and one of the fans of the webcomic, which is a boy of course, is transferred to her school and they start falling in love. I don't know if they actually know that they are they. I don't know. I'll read the book to find out. I really love the cover. It's been getting good reviews from the person who wrote This Is Where It Ends, so I'm excited for it. The next book I have is a sequel to a book that I read recently this year, and that is Piper's Price by Audrey Greathouse. This is the sequel to The Neverland Wars, and if you don't know what The Neverland Wars is, it's basically where there is a war between Neverland and reality and a girl gets sucked into it when her sister is taken by Peter Pan. And I loved that book. I felt it was really cool. The only thing that I had a flaw with it was there was no wars, but I think this book will have the wars. Like, it's like Star Wars. There's not a lot of war in Star Wars, but Rogue One will be the wars in Star Wars. The next two books that I have to talk about are actually kind of a duo kind of thing. And that is The X-File Origins, Agent of Chaos, and The X-Files Origins, Devil's Advocate. Now, if you don't know what X-Files is, it is this fantastic TV show you can find it on Netflix. It follows Data Scully, who is an FBI agent. She's paired up with um, Fox Mulder, who's kind of the joke of the FBI because he believes that his sister was taken by aliens. So she's supposed to be paired up with him to get him out of the FBI, but she's kind of sucked into this stuff and starts believing that the stuff that he's talking about is real. And these books are the them as teenagers, the same thing with Lois Lane Fallout, where we get to see the characters that we've seen as adults, but we never really got their teenage life. And I think that's a really important part of their development is their teenage lives and that's how they evolve. It'd be really cool to see how Dana Scully became a spectator, how Fox Mulder became a believer, and I'm really, really excited for these books. And I still need to finish this series. I never finished. It's like Smallville all over again. For some reason, I never finished series. Like, I love The Walking Dead, but I'm only on season two. And I haven't continued because school, I need to finish my book, I need to read. Of course, I am more Rick Riordan books on here than anything else. But the next one is a Percy Jackson coloring book. Now you're thinking to yourself, why do you need a Percy Jackson coloring book? It's Percy Jackson. I should have everything Percy Jackson known to man. I think it's really cool because you'll get to like color stuff. Like you get to make Annabeth's hair blonde like they didn't do in the movies. You get to change that. You get to make her hair blonde. That's all that matters. And I hope it's art that's not like the official art. Of course, the next book that I am really excited for, I just recently finished the second book in the series, and that is Madness Chase and the Ship of, of the Dead by Rick Riordan. I need this book. I freaking loved Hammer of Thor. More than Magnus Chase and the Sword of Thumb, I loved Hammer of Thor. I thought it was really cool, but, and if you don't know this, but Rick Reward is my favorite author. So I just love what he's doing with this series, and I love the, the diversity he's bringing to a kid's book. This is the third book in the Magnus Chase series, or trilogy. Holy, it's not a trilogy. I don't want it to be a trilogy. I want it to be more. I want to be like, as much as Heroes Olympus, five books, five books, please. Now the next book I have to talk about is actually a standalone, finally. And that book is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I have never read an Adam Silvera book. I know, but I really, really want to. I feel that Adam Silvera is not only a nice person, but an awesome writer. Is this the one where like his boyfriend dies and then like he meets his boyfriend's ex-boyfriend and they start going together? I don't really know, but I really, really want to read his books. The next book I am really excited for is Alex and Eliza, A Love Story by Melissa De La Cruz. Now, I've only read one Melissa De La Cruz book, and that is Isle of Lost, and I liked that book so much better than the Descendants movie. I don't know if this is a modern kind of twist on Alexander Hamilton and Eliza Schuyler's relationship, or it's just her giving the information about their relationship. I don't really know. I don't really want to know. I think it's a really cool idea to do that since Hamilton is such a huge thing now. And I'm really excited for that book. I think it would be really cool to twist on Alexander and Eliza's relationship. Even though we know what's going to happen, she can do whatever she wants with it. Now the last book on my list I've heard a little bit about. I, I don't- STOP TEXTING ME! Mm -hmm. It was recently added because I've seen it around 
Twitter, like people saying, okay, time for a giveaway for this book. Girl out of, wa of the water. And I believe this is a contemporary about a girl. I think she like moves to a different state or something for the summer. I don't really know. Compared to Jenny Han and Sarah Dessen, and I really, li really liked Jenny Han's books. So yeah. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and love some of your anticipated book releases of 2017. Thanks for listening. Bye. My favorite Disney movie is Snow White.